Morning world, it's eight, it's 10 to nine in the morning. It's the 15th of August. And I'm looking at a chat a map of the planets in the heavens at the moment. And I notice that the sun is now only one or two degrees away from conjuncting Ceres. So here's my current take on the largest asteroid in the asteroid belt, that being Ceres and its astrological influence. I've got no way of proving how Ceres, which is a lump of rock, size of Manhattan Island, size of the Isle of Wight, how it works astrologically. I've no way of proving it, but I know it does. Statistically, I can demonstrate in over five to 10,000 charts its effects. Ceres, the, the, the textbooks that were first written on the asteroids about 10, 20 years ago started mentioning the word uh, with Ceres as, Ceres as the great mother, the protector, the food, the feeder. And in recent times, Ceres has become used by contemporary astrologers quite significantly. In my opinion, and from my work, and there's nothing written on this, the most common word used with Ceres is nurturing. The way, if you've got a strong Ceres, Ceres on or opposite or square the sun or the moon, or on or opposite the ascendant, or conjunct any of the personal planets, then you're going to find that the word nurturing is a very powerful tool. The way you were nurtured or not as a child, the uh, conditionality of nurturing. Yes, of course, I love you, but you better be nice to me or else. The nurturing that you give other or others as an adult, as in hugs and cuddles, food for the food, bed for the night, clothing. Um, and the nurturing that you allow others to give you or not in the way that you let others feed you or nurture you. And the way you nurture yourself, the quality of the food you eat, the quality of the lifestyle you let yourself have. Often, where people are not that comfortable with the idea of nurturing and there is a strong Ceres, I often find it results in digestive complaint sometimes real serious issues and that kind of fits because Ceres is the uh, Ceres is related to cereals uh, Ceres is the goddess of the grain and it's not so much gluten intolerance although I do find it quite commonly with Ceres it's much more wheat processed wheat in, intolerance not allergy but intolerance that does become more and more evident with people with strong Ceres much of the time not all of the time it's the idea of nurturing. Ceres with the sun, there's a sense of needing to nurture oneself here or, or being the big nurturer, the big daddy, the big mummy, the old woman that lived in a shoe, the idea of nurturing the world. Then there's Ceres with the moon and commonly here, similar to Ceres with, uh, similar to the moon with Cairo, I see issues of abandonment and emotional neglect or emotional manipulation, uh, conditionality on nurturing. With Ceres, con with Ceres with Mercury, I often find people who, who feel that their mind, their intellect, their thought patterns have never really been fed or nurtured. They consider themselves unsophisticated or uneducated when actually that's not the case at all. Ceres Venus, often people who have strong food addictions. Uh, Ceres Mars, Again, people who identify with nurturing, but in a way that's very, either very physical or completely unphysical. Ceres ascendant people. Again, we're looking at issues around neglect and abandonment, but also the conditionality of nurturing. Yes, of course, I love you, but you better be nice or you better turn into what I want you to be. Otherwise, I'm not going to nurture you. And Ceres midheaven. Here we see, especially Ceres Midheaven and Ceres IC, we see classic, option, classic uh, developments around um, the, the nurturing that mummy and daddy provided when young. And, well, that can be a real pain. There's a need for people with Ceres on or opposite the Midheaven to secure their own home, and a, even if it's just a flat or an apartment from an early age. Ceres, the way you allow others to nurture you, the way you nurture others and the way you empower nurturing into your own life. Eat well, sleep well, drink lots of water, eat your greens, 
and generally look after your body and your lifestyle. Otherwise, what is Ceres for?